This is a man of a mission who doesn't like IKEA. <laughs> really like this place. I want this one. I regret this, but I basically chopped our table in half so I can make two tables. I'm also using the new mug that I got from Ikea, which I love. Look. put two legs on this right like it's super easy how hard can this be one leg done Ikea ran out the white legs so I had to get a black one which I'm really hoping that it will just blend into the back into my background or into my walls it's just a desk I'm not that precious about it as long as I have a functioning desk that isn't going to fall and drop on me, then that's fine. Now I need to go through all of this. I tried my best at cable management. You can see bits poking out. I mean, it's pretty good. I love the dining room now that I've sorted it all out. Before we had the long desk there, but it just looks so much better and so much cleaner. My dining table is back in the middle of the room. I've got my desk over there, it's all tucked away. And then the fairy lights. Okay, new bag time. So I basically got the cos bags. I ended up getting both of the sizes. So I got the big crossbody one, and then I got the the medium one. Honestly, I didn't like either. I thought that the crossbody, the straps were just too short, and I didn't like how it sat on my body because it was just basically under my armpit. I had to like pull the bag away. To, to unzip it and I was like this is this is not right it sits really lovely on my shoulder though but once you start putting things in I could imagine that it gets really really heavy and I think that it would probably cut into my shoulder a little bit the smaller handbag is a nice size it was really nice but I love my Uniqlo one it is my work bag going out bag it is everything I can store so much but I just wanted something a little bit bigger because I think now that I'm trying to vlog a bit more. I want to carry my camera, I want to carry my batteries, I want to carry my tripod, and it kind of gets a bit heavy in the Uniqlo bag. So I was doing a bit of research, and then I found Bagu Bag. It's a brand that I've never heard before. I can't even remember how I found it. I think I just found it off TikTok or something. I've got the Crescent bag in black. I'm going to compare it to my Uniqlo bag. Oh, this tablecloth was not my choice. This was the husband's choice. Who am I to tell him no? Ooh, so immediately it is quite big. If it gets dirty, you basically bung it in the wash and it's as good as new. And I kind of need that. I just need a bag that I can just, I'm not that precious about. So this is the comparison with my new Begu and my Uniqlo bag. I think that the only problem is, is that I don't struggle to find things in here, but I may struggle to find things in here. This nylon material is so different to my Uniqlo one. So if you can see, this is really smooth. Comparison time. Sits nice and snug. Le Bigot Bagu. It's got his name on the strap. Pretty big. I guess it's not too obvious. Like it. I like the sides. It's a bit stiff. Okay, so far I've only put a few things in. Tissue, white, moisturizer, work bulb, makeup, loads of space still. Normal size book. Look at that. 
It's not too heavy either. This is an 800 milliliter bottle or 27 ounces, whichever metric you want to use. I've seen lots of people say that it fits their water bottle. Oh my. There's no reason for me to not carry water with me now. This bag is genius. I wonder if it fits my iPad. Okay, it kind of fits. But it could definitely fit the smaller iPad though, if you have an 11 inch one. So headphones, do they fit in the bag? Wow, amazing. This is the tripod that I normally carry. It's a really small one. I just got it off Amazon. Going in the bag. And there's loads of room as well left in there. To be fair, I don't think I would fill it up, but it's always a nice to have. The Asian in me always brings a scarf because I don't like my neck being cold. I hate having to hold my scarf. I really do. Um, normally I just tie it on my bag, but it gets really clunky and it gets in the way. And then when I'm trying to open my zip, it sometimes gets stuck on my scarf. Bearing in mind, I also have my headphones, my water bottle and my tripod in here as well. Oh my god, my new favourite bag. Yeah. This is Udon. He's a very mischievous boy. I've got these cute keychains. The bodybuilder Hello Kitty always makes me laugh. I don't know why I felt compelled to buy it, but it was hilarious. Back to grinding out work for the next few hours. At least my desk looks cute and pretty though. Does anybody burn candles in the daytime? I always just consider candles as a nighttime thing, but they just smell so good. And I might just burn a candle in the daytime. Meowing at kimchi because they're currently fighting. Oh. Buy this, that, and this of here. I'm going to buy this one. <laughs> oh. I was trying to record, but then my spicy princess Kimmy came and sat on my lap and I am not gonna say no to her. You know, if she wasn't so spicy, she'd be like the perfect kitty, but she hates being picked up and she is such a typical cat where she only comes to you when she wants it. God forbid you would ever want to touch her when she doesn't want that word.